Okay guys, let's have a look over here. Let's see, this is in the garden. So what do you do in this kind of situation when you have these kind of bees over here? You let me know guys. I think I'm gonna make these guys my uh, new students. So this is uh, basically what you can see over here, loads of bees. Lots and lots of bees come to my garden, look at them nicely, just on top of each other. I don't know what they're doing, biting or eating each other. So here is me walking in the background, as you can see. Now, basically, I've got this uh, compost, this kind of soil, and I've decided to do a bit of planting in the garden. I'll show you guys how I do my planting business. These are some heavy pots. As you can see, I'm picking this up. It's quite heavy. Right, and I'm uh, gonna do some planting in this. Yeah, so uh, I thought I'd, do, uh, I'd overlay the, the sound so that you guys can enjoy me explaining what I'm doing over here. So this is a very heavy pot here, made from cement or something. And uh, what I'm gonna do is these marigolds, I'm gonna plant them in here. So as you can see, I've got my hands all nice and covered up with gloves, so I don't get my dirt into my fingernails. Uh, and I'm just filling this up with some some soil over here. And obviously I'm doing the camera. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So I'll measure this inside of there. Right, I don't know if you guys uh, enjoy doing these kind of uh, gardening activities right, where you guys will perform these kind of uh, nice planting. Yeah, and I don't know why I tap that, it just seems like something to do on TV. So tapping that a bit, placing that inside, getting a bit of the soil, filling it up on the sides, right, making it nice and uh, nice and firm so that it doesn't move around and the, the roots have nice space so that they can spread. So this is something which I don't know if you guys are planting and know any tips of planting. Yeah, but you, please give me some advice on planting. Am I doing the right thing or am I doing the wrong thing? Uh, so this, I've actually recorded this uh, quite a few days ago and the sound is a bit delayed a few days later. So I was uh, thinking I went to put this up and I thought to myself, you know what? I'll put up these vlogs yeah, just to kind of show you guys what kind of things I get up to. So it looks like I'm very professional here. My uh, hair has been put into a bun that looks like a palm tree. Um, okay, so right now, now I need to pick this up and move it right over there. This is something, these kind of plants basically don't last very long. Uh, these are like just ones that last for a few weeks or so and then they die out. And then... All right, so back to the bees again. I know you guys want to see the bees. So these are the nice purple bees that have been garden as I told you guys on social media. These guys have been here for about two days. Uh, but alhamdulillah someone will come sing away. These bees are basically like oh oh god I mean it's been all over your body with neck inside your shirt and your trousers ah yeah so these are the bees and I've deliberately left the sound on this so that you guys can enjoy that natural sound of the bees buzzing away. And uh, if you guys have ever had bees infestation, then please let me know as well in the comments. Now, you see over here, when you get, when I get close to them, they don't do nothing to me. These are actually honeybees, apparently. Right, so if you guys can tell how to tell if they're honeybees or not, put in the comments. But the guy said to me that these are honeybees. This tree is in my next door neighbor's garden, and he was very kind enough to call the people in to, um, to get rid of them. And I'm gonna show you in a bit the, uh, the guys that actually came to, remove all of these bees um, it would be actually very nice to have a nice honey so this is another angle that I've taken another shot so you can see from the bottom there yeah look at all of these guys went crazy yeah by the way there isn't any honey here so if you guys think as soon as bees hit a place they they just produce honey they don't 
Right, so these guys don't have their mother, honey, key, queen, or whatever you want to call her. So you see this picture over here, quite clear now. They just like it. Just looks like you no know, one of those kind of like desserts. You just want to eat up. Yeah, well, it's uh, Charlie the Chocolate Factory. These bees are edible. Okay, this is the lady that's come, and she's basically spraying them with some sort of uh, I don't know, some spray. That's so basically that's gonna that's gonna kind of make it easier for them to remove it. And uh, I've made quite a long, long one over here, but hopefully, inshallah, you guys should be able to see what's going to happen. So these people have come from a different area, and this is their job. This is what they do. So there's this, there's the man. We've done it from the outside window because they've told us to uh, close all the windows off. Um, so this is basically what's happening over here. As you can see, they put this box down over there. And then what they do is, this is like a, an artificial beehive. So they put those little trays inside of there. And then uh, they will actually take them off. I've kind of zoomed it up. Right, so it's it's quite close up and also sp I've sped it up as well. So it's, it's quite fast. As you can see everything moving quite fast. So they're going to take this down now and then they are going to... You see that what they're doing? They're shaking it. Right, now I've taken another shot of this show you all the bees we can't see the bees very clearly from here right but you will in a little bit of time okay so let's have a check let's have a see uh, uh, of this right so as you can see um, this is just sped up quite quick yeah, this they basically take this down and they will cut down the branch they're moving all the leaves or leaves as, as many leaves as they can and there's the other guy he's an elderly gentleman and he is right laying this thing out there so what's going to happen basically is it's going to drop you're going to see this in a bit it will drop obviously because i've seen all this before and uh, this is something very interesting to me i don't know if it's interesting to you guys and you're going to see this drop in a bit uh, okay, I think this is getting a bit boring now, watching these guys just looking at this. But imagine this was your job. You just went to people's gardens, took down bees, wear this nice uh, protective clothing outfit. Yeah, proper hijab, full hijab, niqab system. Yeah, okay, and then they will take this down in a bit. Ah, uh, build up this. It's so boring. Okay, this is the lid for it. Okay. So, come on, I'm supposed to wrap this around, you get these kind of straps and they wrap it around and then they uh, they take it. Okay, they're probably confused and asking each other, oh, what should we do? Okay, let's do this. And I'm sure obviously they're experts at this. They know exactly what they're doing, how you're supposed to do this. So these guys are trying to, okay, uh, is it going to drop now? It's going to drop soon. Waiting for it to drop. Yeah, so basically what they do is, I'll just give you the quick khulasa summary of it. So they get the bees, put majority of them in the box, and the rest of them automatically follow. Because these bees have some sort of a sense. They can sense where the other bees are, and they can just communicate with them, and just follow them wherever they go. So you can see some bees just randomly just whizzing past the camera. So uh, they told everyone to go inside. Houses, close the windows, close the doors. All right, let's just see if it's gonna work. Yeah, come on. Okay, just strap that in. And the beehive. Imagine you had a beehive in your garden. Fresh honey you'll be getting in your garden. All right, so old man walks away now. Oh, he's walking away. Yeah, he's leaving the lady there. Okay, lady, she's, oh, let's just do a bit of spraying, oh yeah, yeah, spray this, spray that, blah, 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 okay, shake, 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 okay, oh, no, move off my clothes, get away, all right, stand over there, let's just have a look, look, look at this, all right, let's see, it's a waiting game now, all of this is the waiting game, all right, let's just uh, take a picture of this on my phone, yeah, for social media, okay, so this is the other thing now. See, they're trying to put this on top. They don't know what to do. Let's do it there, let's do it like that, let's do it like this. And uh, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Right, they've done this. Uh, this is like a close-up shot taken here. You can
can see the guy looking into it. All right, so it looks like he's doing ruku. No, he's not doing ruku. It's the wrong way. Kibla's the other way. Uh, right, so come on. Here comes this, they're trying to tell the bees, bees, please come inside. Yeah. Uh, when is this gonna take place, man? Okay. I think I need to zoom it in a bit more just to see. Oh, I wish I had the camera close up. I'm just like documenting it all. Okay, so shake, shake, shake. Come on. They're boring. Okay, I don't know this part of the job. This part of the job is boring. All right, so basically, like I said, that's what they're going to do. And uh, there is a part here which I don't know when it's going to happen, but the box does actually fall down and the bees do actually come out. So, um, so let me know what you guys think of this kind of vlog. If you guys actually, this is a close up now. Yeah, you can see uh, all these bees whizzing around them. You can't see those from upstairs. This is from downstairs. Okay, they they've moved away now. Okay. All right. So come on. All right. Anyway, the box was supposed to fall somewhere. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the sound. Uh, you can't hear guys hear the sounds, but here I'll show you guys close up. If you guys can see this, the sound is actually working. You can see. I, I can't remember where the the box actually fell, but I couldn't find the the footage for that. But anyway, this is basically what happened then. This is what it was like. End of story. Right, now this is cycling. As you can see, Maji is in front of me. I've, sp I've sped it up or speeded it up to about times eight speed. Right, and it's, it looks a bit wonky. But uh, it's basically, uh, we're going through some country, country lanes. And this was exactly after the bees were put in the box. Right, so I'm going on this country lane, whizzing around, just doing some exercise. And uh, I thought I'd show you guys some this time of the day. It's so nice in summer, Saturday evening, going around these uh, these little roads. This area is, I think it's Warsaw area. This is falls under Warsaw, I think, or I don't know what area this is. But this is a nice area because um, it's quiet and the roads are okay as well to ride on. If you especially, you know, if you don't like bumpy roads, so it's good, good. And you can kind of go quite fast. Air breeze, you know, in your face, in your beard, if you're a man, obviously. Uh, and if you're a woman, then in your hijab, and uh, well, uh, and then uphill here. Can you see the uphill struggle? Ah, oh, these uphill struggles are just these are the killer things. Yeah, see these cars going past. When the cars go past, and you're on an uphill struggle, this is the the deadly. Now, see, I can speak without being out of breath. Now, Maji stopped here because he's seen horses, and for some reason, I think he just likes horses. There's are two horses over there. And as you can see over there in the, in the distance, two brand, nice brown horses, and he wants to take pictures of them. Yeah, just to show that he's, you know, mashallah, he loves animals and he's taking care of the environment, saving the planet. <sighs> so, Maji, thank you for saving the planet and take some pictures. The horses oh. are going to be extremely excited and happy when they go back home tonight. And uh, basically, you've given me some rest as well, so that's a good thing. So, you can see Maji's light at the back flashing. That's something which is crucial. If you have a bike, make sure the lights are working on the bike yeah, because trust me if you're a driver sometimes you can't see the cyclist and try to wear as much uh, um, you know colored clothing as you can now this is going quite fast okay it's like really fast zooming it just to show you guys this is sometimes what happens when you're riding on the roads you've got to be careful of uh, uh, drivers as well yeah so it looks a bit uh, sickly yeah but don't worry um, this is uh, you, you get used to it after a while yeah, you make sure you're just aware of everything around you and, uh, and that's it guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys enjoyed this uh, the audio uh, overlay please let me know and if you guys want to see more of this as well hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and i will see you guys next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh